today this video is going to be a K-beauty haul video in here I've got a full box of K-beauty skincare and makeup products that I want to share with you today I'm gonna start with this brand first and then I'll move on to the stuff I got from Misha and Innisfree and my final shopping item from Misha is this cleansing oil and this one is near skin pH balancing cleansing oil and I like that this one has that pH balancing effect it feels quite different from the cleansing oils that I've tried so far so the cleansing oils that I've been using so far feels of course very oily on your skin your finger slides very easily but then with this one when it goes on my skin it feels like it has more water in it than other cleansing oils that I've tried so as you start rolling on your face with your fingers the water seems to evaporate a little and after that it feels almost too stiff that's one downside to this cleansing oil that I've experienced so far but one thing that I liked about this oil is that I don't do double cleansing nowadays because it's dry winter and I feel like maybe cleansing too much has made my skin a little too sensitive so usually after using cleansing balms or oils I would just use water to wash off that product and makeup all together and then start right away with toners so when I do that other cleansing oils or cleansing balms that I'm using right now felt like they're is still something on my face but then with this one it feels just right I mean I don't feel that oil residue left on my skin or anything like that my skin feels just hydrated and clean at the same time so that was one good side to this product I do feel like this one has too much of the PEG because it comes right after water here in the ingredient list so the ingredients in the ingredient list are listed in the order of their percentage so the one that comes at the far beginning is what they put in the most and my final product from Misha is this brush cleaner I've been wanting to get a brush cleaner like this one from Sephora but somehow my orders from Sephora never got through and I wasn't able to get a hold of this one but I found a similar product from Misha and it looks very similar right I mean I remember the Sephora one also had this kind of black like rigged surface where you can rub a dirty brush on and then I don't know if they had the circle in the middle if you've tried the Sephora one let me know down in the comments box below if they also have that white circle in the middle it is very useful especially with eye makeup eyeshadows tend to get all mixed up in the eyeshadow brushes that I use of course it's best if you can wash the brushes often but when you can't do that you know you can just rub the brush here at the black outer circle and then use the white one in the middle to check if the brush is clean I've used this only a few times but it already looks very dirty so I might have to flip it around and then when the other side gets dirty also I can just wash this up with a brush cleaner so if you've been looking for a brush cleaner that you can get hold of and if you can't get access to Sephora like me then go shop at Misha and that seems to be it for all the items that I shopped from Misha and next let's move on to Innisfree from Innisfree I got this cushion foundation so this one is Innisfree ample moisture cushion in N23 true beige after my vacations to Vietnam twice I definitely became darker than most of the foundations that I own so I went through my foundation collection I found this cushion refill from Innisfree and this one was in shade 23 true beige also most of the foundations that I own are in shade number 21 and so I thought this one 23 will work best for my skin at that time so I grabbed this one out and tried it on and 
the color seemed to match my skin very well and another thing was it felt very 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 hydrating on my skin however this refill is very very old so i didn't feel confident using this one so i went out and got a new one which is a renewed version of this ample intense cushion and that is the ample moisture cushion that i got and when it comes to the color and the moisturizing effect it is very similar to the old one so i like that i have it on my skin today too this foundation does have its downsides for example it doesn't last very long on your skin since it is very moisturizing it transfers very easily and and when you reapply this it might look a little cakey also but this cushion is very affordable and I just dab it on whenever I'm in a hurry and then just head out to the door so it's not my best foundation pick but it is still a solid decent foundation for winter if you're looking for a cushion foundation that you don't want to invest too much in one for your everyday use that won't cost you too much and that is hydrating then you should definitely go test this ample moisture cushion out and my second product from Innisfree is this Innisfree No Sebum Blur Pact I got this product because I've been using this No Sebum Mineral Powder really well I thought I should get a pressed version of this item because this one is like loose powder and I didn't like using loose powders that much because it just you know it's all over the air whenever you try to use it and it's really hard to get the product on your powder brush since I don't like to use too much of that powder on my face and I also wanted some color correcting effect for those days that I don't wear a foundation when I wear CC or BB creams I would love a little bit of coverage from the powder that I use so I thought why not try a different kind of Innisfree powder product so that's the reason I picked this one up because this product has that skin color tone to it so whenever I use CC creams or BB creams and whenever I want to set that that's when I use this product and then lastly from Innisfree I got this Innisfree soybean energy oil which I mentioned in my empties video in comparison to the green tea seed oil and like I said in that video this one is a very light facial oil so it almost feels like serums even the product information tells you to use it at the serum step so right after you use a toner or right after you cleanse your face and I've been liking this as a serum too and I can see why this one is so popular and I guess that's it for today's haul video I not only wanted to share with you what I got but also wanted to let you know what I think of them so that you can find this video a little helpful and if you've used the products that I mentioned here or if you are using those products let me know in the comments box below it'll be great if you can share your thoughts on these products too and like always if you found this video helpful in any way or interesting in any way don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video thanks for watching today and I'll see you in my next video bye